In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to find a reference angle in trig. Uh, we'll start with the definition. A reference angle is the positive acute angle, theta prime, formed by the terminal side of theta and the x-axis. So to demonstrate that definition here, I've got some thetas or some angles drawn here, and then we're going to take a look at where that reference angle would be. All right, in this first example right here, let's say that theta ends up being in the second quadrant. Okay, so then the question is, where would your reference angle be? Well, it has to be formed by the terminal side of theta. So there's the terminal side of theta. So we'll highlight that orange. All right, and it also has to be uh, between the x-axis. All right, so the x-axis going right here. All right, so right there, it will be an acute angle and it will be positive. So right there would be your reference angle. In the middle example, if I had a, an, an angle theta that ended in the fourth quadrant. All right, so looking terminal side of theta, well, here's the terminal side of theta and in between then the x-axis. So here's the x-axis. All right, right in here, I do have an acute angle. It is positive, so that is where my reference angle lies. In this last example, if our theta would show up in the third quadrant, all right, it's got to be formed by that terminal side of theta. So here's the terminal side of theta, and the x-axis then is right there. So again, right here, I have an acute angle, it's positive, so that would be my reference angle. Okay, so just some pictorial explanations of that definition and how it works. Now let's actually work out a couple of examples um, where you have to find the numerical value of that reference angle. Okay, let's say the directions say find the reference angle, and they give you theta is equal to 345 degrees. All right, I would recommend that you do just a little rough sketch so that you can actually see it. 345 degrees is going to put us all the way around and then in this fourth quadrant. All right, so um, let's draw that with a pink. All right, so 345 degrees would put us somewhere down here. Okay, so there's our 345 degrees. All right, now we're looking for that reference angle. It has to be between the terminal side and the x-axis. It has to be acute and positive. So if we know all the way around is 360 degrees and we have come to 345 degrees to find that reference angle, I would just need to take 360 minus the 345 degrees, do the subtraction, you're going to end up with a 15 degrees there. So our reference angle will be 15 degrees. In the second example, we've got a theta that is a negative 135 degrees. All right, and if you're working in trig, you just realize that that is telling you the um, orientation, the rotation of the angle is different. So a negative 135 degrees means I would start here. All right, let's go back to the pink. I would start here. And instead of going counterclockwise, I would go clockwise around, and 135 degrees is going to end up right here. So there is the negative 135 degrees. Now I'm looking for a reference angle that is formed between that terminal side and the x-axis. It needs to be positive. It needs to be acute. So we're looking for this angle right in there. Okay, so I know that Halfway around my circle is 180 degrees, so all I need to do is take my 180 degrees and subtract 135, and that's going to give me 45 degrees. So this reference angle right here has to be 45 degrees. All right, so just two quick little examples. Uh, definitely utilizing that definition that states it has to be uh, with the terminal side of theta and the x-axis. It has to be positive and acute for that reference angle. Definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and be sure and share with your friends. Thanks.